I'm Caroline Marks. I am a professional surfer. I am 15 years old and from Melbourne Beach, Florida. Quick sad update. Marks, age 15, residing in California. And this is a division that she surfs in. The Explorer Girls, Explorer Women's, Open Women's, and Open Girls. She's been surfing for seven years. Looks like her favorite surf spot, Cloud Break in Fiji. And her favorite thing about NSA Nationals competing as she represents Roxy, Red Bull, Chemistry Surfboards, Smith Optics, FCS, Tonic, Ground Social, and Sex Wax. Yeah, it's always fun. It's, it's definitely long. It's eight days of straight contests. It's super early mornings and um, you're off the beach pretty late, but it's totally worth it. It's really fun and yeah, it's such a great event. Time call, nine minutes and 10 seconds to go. Started off with a pretty good wave. I think I started off with like a seven. And then um, backed it up real quick with like a six, five. For the conditions, it was actually like, that was like really hard to do. Yeah, I kind of like sat on the other girls, like try to, you know, whoever was in second or needed the, like the lowest score. A couple waves came through, but weren't very good. And then, um, then yeah, I won. It was pretty cool. I was psyched. <laughs> I don't know, sick. Yeah, I'm really stoked. It was so hard out there. When you wait 10 minutes for a wave and then all the girls are sitting in one spot, so only most likely only one of us is gonna get that wave. So you had to be so aggressive, but it was so fun. Like all the girls are shredding so hard. Right, one more today. One more heat. You never know what the ocean's gonna do. It was like outside inside, it was kind of tricky because there was like a few outside waves, but it was very inconsistent. And then there was a lot of like smaller waves, but then if you got the sets, you get bigger scores. So it's definitely tough when um, you watch a heat before and it's like, oh, it's pumping and you see really good waves, you get all psyched and it was, it's breaking in this certain spot so you kind of get the general area where to sit and then you pedal out and it's completely different. Honestly, the best thing, like you just have to adapt. You have to be really good at adapting while you're out there. I started off with, um, with a quick little wave, it wasn't that good and then, uh, then I backed it up really quick with my best wave. And then I paddled like that after that and I got like this really good set wave came th through to me. It was like the biggest wave I've seen in like almost all day. And I was like, whoa, I was the only one in the position for it. I paddled super hard and then uh, I hit a kelp and my board flipped and the fin snapped down on my leg. I didn't know that. I got a wave and I was like sliding everywhere. That's never happened to me. Like a fin's never popped out in, in like one of my heats before. So that was a little bit interesting, but I was like, whatever, just, this was meant to happen. Let's just get, get my other board. I was really confident on my other board. It was a really nice backup board. Mike and my dad waxed up my board, did a little board swap. Okay, I got this. Let's just let's just do it. So <laughs> paddle back out and won the final. It was sick. <laughs> There's definitely pressure for sure. You get frustrated and the pressure's definitely on because then when a wave does come through, you know, there's not a lot of opportunity. But bottom line is you just have to go out there and perform. I'm here with our 2017 Explorer Girls Championship. This is her eighth title as a national. You're three away from beating Chris Moore. Congratulations on another national title. You killed it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was psyched. And you know, all the girls are super good, so you just gotta get best waves and surf the best you can. So it was, it was really cool. Beach breaks change so much, so you kind of want to surf like as close to your heat as possible. You know, feel your board out and like um, just kind of feel the ocean, just what it's doing, because it can look so different from the beach than will you actually get out there. And even if you surf as uh, you know super close to your heat, it still could be completely different in your heats. For myself, I'd say like 45 minutes before my heat, paddle out and catch like two or three waves, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, come in, have like 25 minutes to watch the waves, and then. Um, yeah, get a little game plan. So if you surf too early before your heat, it could be completely different by the time your heat goes. But at the same time, that's that's not that big of a deal because you really just want to get a feel for the ocean and you just kind of want to get your feet in the wax and um, just catch a couple waves, which is most important, I think. Caroline. 
good luck out there. Well, just want He's only nice to me on camera. He never says that. Open girls final, yeah. The waves got a lot better, a lot bigger. I remember like all my waves in that final. Like I just took off on my first wave. I, I um, got a little like four, I think, and then paddled back out. And at the time, that was like the best wave in the heat. I sat at the back and I'm like, okay, hey, let me just wait for a good wave. You know, it's funny because there was all lefts and then I ended up getting this like perfect right came to me and I got like an 8.75 on it. I was really psyched and <laughs> it battled back out. So I had two good scores and like the only girl in second needed like a nine or something. So I was kind of staying close to her, but at the same time I was like, okay, hey, I just want to get a good backup. She caught a wave and didn't get the score. There was like two minutes left. I was right behind her and then dropped to 7.5. I felt more confident, but at the same time, I never underestimate anyone. Fell back out super quick, and then um, we got out with like 30 seconds left, and then I kind of like stayed close to maybe try to block her on a few waves, and then won the final. <laughs> so that was sick. It was really fun. It is so nice and warm down here, but the action on the water is just sizzling, and uh, wow, that open gallon final here on Monday night at You know, I had no idea he was watching my heat. I came in and my friend Erica from Florida, she has never met him and um, she's like, oh my God, Kelly's here. And I was like, oh, no way, like that's so sick. And then I, I looked over and I was like, whoa, he's actually here, this is crazy. I, I had no idea, yeah, it was, it was really cool. Ninth title like that, I'm so stoked. I had to say, it's such a great event, and I'm really pumped for that. And especially this year was really incredible. Actually, won four national titles um, in NSSA this year, so it's been a great run. I won high school first, and then Explore Girls, uh, Explore Women's, and then Open Girls. It's been been an amazing contest, and for myself, I felt like it was one of the better nationals I've had. And um, just for my surfing, I felt like I was surfing better. So everything was positive, and yeah. Then again, waves were really fun. It's definitely the best part. Yeah, next I have Super Real Pro and Oceanside, which is a QS 6000, and yeah, that should be really, really fun. There's no pressure, so right after that is the US Open. So two really big events back to back. I'm really pumped for that, so that should be sick. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> 